Hello everyone, welcome to Decorating with Barbara. In today's video, I am going to share with you how I create Dollar Tree arrangements and make them look elegant. Okay, so I'm sure you guys are wondering how am I going to make these Dollar Tree flowers look elegant? And the key to making the Dollar Tree flowers look elegant is the container that you put it in. So not only is it important the type of container that you put the flowers in, but it's also important with the things that you group around it because you can't have everything from Dollar Tree. Otherwise, it will end up looking a little inexpensive. So I'm going to share a couple different containers that I use to make these Dollar Tree flowers pop. Now, all of these flowers came from the Dollar Tree except this little bundle here. And I think these look pretty good for Dollar Tree flowers. So let's go ahead and let me just show a few containers okay so I'm going to start with this bunch of flowers here and this flower is called the dripping blossom and um, yeah it has a really pretty color now one thing that I normally do with the Dollar Tree flowers is to remove the greenery but for the arrangement that I'm going to show you first, I'm going to leave the greenery on. And then sometimes what I do is to push the greenery all the way down. But in the arrangement, the first arrangement that I'm going to show you, I'm going to leave the greenery because I want it to um, pop out as a little bit of a green accent. Okay guys, so I have the dripping blossoms and then I have hydrangeas in two different colors. I'm going to start first with the dripping blossoms and I'm just going to add them toward the edge of the vase. Now this is a time when I would probably not want the greenery so I'm going to see if I can kind of push them down past the tape because, oh I forgot to tell you, I am using a tape grid and that's just to keep the flowers in place. And I'm just going to spread these out and I'm probably going to start with four so I have one on each side and then one in the front and one in the back and then next I'm going to use the hydrangeas now let me just show you so this is how the hydrangeas look and what you want to do is to close the hydrangeas tight so that it looks like one large flower head as opposed to kind of spread out that's how I like to do it and if you want sometime I will cut the individual stems and then wrap them with uh, floral tape just to make sure that the flower head stays real tight Okay, so now I cut the stems away from the main branch. And so I'm just going to wrap just all of the stems, all of them with floral tape. And you can get this floral tape from the Dollar Tree um, as well as any floral place that carries um, flowers. Okay, so this should look like this. Oh, 
Okay, so this is what we have so far. I just have the two white hydrangeas, one in the front and one in the back. And then I decided to add one more purple flower here on the side. Just to let that fill in a little bit more. And I think I'm gonna add another one to the other side just to fill it out just a little bit. Okay, so you can make your adjustments at the end, but this is how it's looking right now. And then I'm going to add a few other hydrangeas, the two purples, and I'm going to put one on each side. One there, and then I'm going to come and put one on this side. And what I'm going to do is add this light purple and then two green stems. Okay, so I really love the mixture of the different purples and the plum or magenta. So I'm going to go ahead and do one more. And at the end, I'll share with you how I style them. Okay, so for this one, I just put a white hydrangea on the front, one on the back, a purple on the side, the darker purple on the side and then one lighter purple on top. Okay, so I added the eucalyptus stems as well as these lavender stems. Okay, so this next arrangement is going to be pretty simple. I just have a very small container and once again, the type of container is important you can spend a small amount on your flowers but i would say spend just a little bit more on your container and so i have purple roses from the dollar tree i have some baby's breath and then i have some eucalyptus and then this small flower i'm not sure i want to call it bittersweet but i'm not sure if that's what it is but it's the small little uh, petite flower and I always like to use that with a medium sized flower so when you are arranging your flowers you do want to make sure you have different sizes which gives more interest and texture to the arrangement Okay, so I did cut my stems away from the branch because I wanted them to be individual so that I can make the stems all the same height. I just wanted to make a tight little bundle and I'm just using the floral tape just to keep them together. Okay, so the flowers are just a tad bit taller than the container. so. I'm going to bend them just slightly so that they fit into the container with just a little bit of the flowers sticking above the top, like that. Okay, so I like the way these are sitting nice in the container. And I think I'm going to go ahead and add these pretty little petite white flowers
And then something like this you can place in your powder room, in your bedroom, on your side table, maybe in a bookcase and give it some interest with a little color. Okay guys, so this is how they all turned out. Now this one here, I didn't put this together on camera, but all this is is one pick and then I added the little draping blossoms. You can place this by your kitchen sink, you can place it in your powder room or even on your nightstand. And the same with this one I mentioned before would be beautiful in a powder room. And so I think I'll show you just a few of them, how they would look in different groupings and in uh, different rooms. So stay tuned. And guys, I love mixing in my garden decor during the spring and summer. And I especially like the way it looks with my Merkley glass. And so another thing that I love to decorate with are the beads. Now I heard the other day someone say, get rid of your beads. And I just want to tell you guys, if you love decorating with the beads, please keep your beads. Do not be influenced by someone else's opinion or design style. I think the beads add texture and interest to any vignette. Okay, so for this particular vase, it is mercury glass and you can see through it just a little bit so i just i wanted to add the draping blossoms in the mercury glass vase to give it just a more elegant look and so to keep the stems from showing through i added some bubble wrap to the base of the urn and then wrap the stems in bubble wrap and then i wanted to leave the green exposed here so I can see a little bit of that green color. So this is my French country vignette and I like to bring in the French country and the uh, mercury glass elements more during the spring and summer because I think it just says garden to me. And so if you like that stick around because you will see more of my French country decor come out for spring and summer. And you guys remember when I uh, made over that French country urn. And then this little cherub is a Goodwill find. Now this is a Dollar Tree find. And what I did with that, I made a um, container for my matches. And so I just put glued the little switch plate on the bottom and placed my matches inside just to give my matches a little bit more elevated look. So guys, I hope you enjoy seeing all of my Dollar Tree flowers and seeing how I arrange them and how I place them with different groupings to give them a more elevated look. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.